Hatching is common in many AutoCAD drawings, but creating hatches that are consistent yet flexible can be challenging and tedious. There's got to be a better way to create and edit hatch objects that ensures consistency while still providing the flexibility you require. Well, with AutoCAD 2010, there is. Let's take a look. Let's see the difference in boundary detection. Creating a boundary hatch should be easy, but when the boundary detection fails, it can be frustrating and time-consuming. With previous versions of AutoCAD, you might find yourself in a seemingly endless process of zooming and panning as you visually try to locate the gap. In AutoCAD 2010, you can identify the location of a failed hatch boundary as soon as it occurs. Red circles indicate the gaps so that you can zoom directly to the problem area. Let's see the difference in editing non-associative hatches. In previous versions of AutoCAD, hatch objects can become disassociated from their boundaries, making them impossible to update based on a new boundary. The only option is to erase the hatch and start over. In AutoCAD 2010, you can use intuitive grips to edit the boundary of a non-associative hatch. These are just a few ways hatch functionality has been enhanced so that you can do more and do it faster with the all-new AutoCAD. You've got to see the difference.